today's throwback. Emmanuel Akiwu, richest Nigerians, quote unquote, of the 1800s and the early 1900s, and the timeless lessons we must learn from them for lasting riches. For a region, Oil River region, or the Oil River Protectorate, now known as South South, that has sent its children, that has sent its children to Europe for quality Western education as far back as the 15th and the 16th century, first to Portugal and later to England, it was not a surprise that the first acknowledged pre-independence money back from the area was an alumnus of one of, the Engl of, one of England's most elitist universities, Emmanuel Akiwo, was a remarkable figure in Nigerian business and politics, leaving a lasting impact through his entrepreneurial endeavors and dedicated service in government. With a diverse and accomplished background, he was a prominent leader in both the business and political spheres in Nigeria. Born in Port Harcourt, River State, Akiwu's journey to success began with his education at the prestigious Cambridge, Cambridge University from 1945 to 1950. Armed with knowledge and ambition, he returned to Nigeria in 1951 and began his career as a solicitor. His legal acumen and sharp business sense would later lead him to found Akiwu Motors in the 1960s a company that would go on to possess a fleet of 70 vehicles and provide vital transportation services, especially in the energy sector by hauling oil rigs and supplies for the esteemed British Petroleum Limited. In addition to his entrepreneurial pursuits, Akiwu made significant contributions to Nigerian politics, serving as a federal lawmaker in the House of Representatives from 1954 to 1964 his dedication and leadership skills were further recognized when he assumed the role of Deputy Speaker of the Eastern Assembly, of the Eastern House of Assembly, solidifying his influence within the political landscape of the time. Beyond his legislative roles, beyond his legislative, Akiu was also a key figure in the establishment of Nigerian Ports Authority, serving on its board during his formative years in 1954. His involvement in this critical institution underscored his commitment to driving economic progress and infrastructure development within the country, leaving a lasting imprint on Nigeria's maritime and trade landscape. The didactic, Akiwu's legacy extends far beyond his professional accomplishments. His impact is felt through his pioneering spirit in education and business, his commitment to public service, and his unwavering dedication to the growth and prosperity of Nigeria. With his vision and determination, he not only built a successful enterprise, but also played a pivotal role in shaping the legislative and infrastructural frameworks that laid the groundworks for Nigeria's future development. His memory continues to inspire generations, serving as a testament to the power of leadership, entrepreneurship, and service to one's nation. And that's it on the show tonight. I'm Bola Oba.